This is Sunday for crying out loud. What are you gonna do? Down! Stay down! Jacob, stay down! Stay right now, you're Stay down. Put your hands behind your back. Nope. Hey, get off Stay down. Get too, honey. <laughs> Go to the ground. Shut it down! It's a bit on the stuff. Put the axe down! Put it down! Put it down! Put it down! This is my Put it down! What's up guys? I'm Patty Mayo. Welcome to the hunt. As you can see behind me, we got the brand new Chevy Tahoe and right here, the brand new body armor I'm wearing. And those two things can only mean one thing. The end of season seven is near. Only a few more episodes to go before we get into season eight. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss any of the action. Now before we get started in this episode, I want to give a shout out to all you fantastic people to keep this show going by buying merch like I'm not wearing any merch like this hat that's gonna be in the store soon. You guys have been watching me wear this digital camo hat for long enough. I've ordered them, they will be in the store soon. But in the meantime, the tactical backpacks are still on sale. Get those while they last. If you want some merch and a shout out of your very own, click that link in the description or go to pattymayo.tv giving a shout out to Do You Know D-Way, Sonny, Brittany, Jacob Cheek, YouTube, JPZ. Check it out, thank you for all that you do. Christian Randolph, Ride the Lightning, Can I Get a Go Raiders, Nomadic Egyptian, Matt Simple, Unicorn Bacon Fart, Get him Patty, Tai Tai Mojo is Baller, Michael Jeffers, Biggie Zach, Staff Sergeant Jack in Iraq, Michael Sawyers, Not Slayers, Jackson and Page, 118 18, Pinhead Larry, Carter Fox, and last but not least, Brand. Thank you guys for purchasing merch. If you want some merch and a shout out of your very own, click that link in the description or go to pettymayo.tv. And now, on to the hunt. Right now we are setting up down the street from Steve's house. Steve has a bond revocation for bad behavior. He picked up a new charge, so his old bond is now revoked. He needs to be brought back down to the jail, rebooked, reprocessed, and he'll be let out on a new bond. As long as he has good behavior today, we'll work with him. But uh, I've been told, good luck. So we'll see how this one goes. Jared, you ready? I'm ready. Jared brought a uh, guard dog for the car just in case. This is like little Paisley. Are you gonna are you gonna bite someone if they resist? I need a con Paisley, Paisley, look at me. I need a confirmation that you're gonna if someone runs, you're gonna take them down. All right, <laughs> useless dog, useless. You ready? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Alright, how are you? Good, my name's Patrick. I'm a bail bonds. Looking for Steve? Oh, uh, he's not here. Okay, I'm Patrick, plus bail bonds. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm looking for Steve. Where's okay. he at? He's got the. Why is that camera here? These cameras are for our protection and for your protection you as well. They record. Why are you okay, they, they record everything that we do. Steve's on bond with. Is that legal? I'm sorry? Is that legal? Yes, it's legal. Okay, he's on bond with. I need to speak with him in regards to his bond. He's is he here or is he not here? He's not here. Where is he at? Can you call him for me? I don't have a phone. Do you have a phone? Oh, Can you call him? House. I'm sorry? It's in the house. Why don't you get your phone and give him a I call for me? me? You gotta tell me, well, tell me who you were. I don't know okay, well, if you're saying he's not here, so you don't mind if I just take a look around then? Is that alright? I don't think there's a reason to take a look around. He's not here. Okay, well, this is his property, is that right? Correct. Okay, so I have, I have probable cause. To search the property, you if I'm looking warrant? for him. Yeah, there's your warrant. I do have a warrant for him, actually. Do we? Yeah, I do, because he's on bond with us, so I can make contact with him at any point while he's on bond. I can search his property, search his person, search his vehicle at any time while he's on bond with us to secure our bond. Mm -hmm. I'll be happy to give you more information if you tell me where Steve's at right now. 
Is this is his truck, is it not? Yeah, the GMC? Yes, it is. Okay, so I don't really believe your story that you tell me he's not here. He's so we can shop. go. He's out in the shop. Yeah. Why, why, don't you, why don't you walk me over there and show me where he's at? Walk with me. He's probably ain't in there. He might have gone to the bathroom or something. Okay, well, wherever he's at, we just have a conversation with him. It's not a big thing. Let me go see. Hey! Why don't you stand over there for me? Hey Steve, Patrick, it's Bill Buns. How you doing? Good. Good. Want to step out for me? Hello. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I do need you to step out here and talk to you about your bond. Uh, why don't you give us? Why don't you give us space? Why don't you give us space and just hang out right there? Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. This is. You're right. This is your property. However, you you're. Says. Yeah, I, I see the sign. You're on bond with. So that has no bearing on me. Okay. I can be on your property anytime I want while you're on bond with us. And if you have a problem with that. Then we can revoke your bond and bring you back down to jail. But right now, what I need you to do is step out so I can talk to you in regards to your bond. Can you just shut the cameras off? No, that's for our protection, your protection as well. If you're worried about us being on your property, you shouldn't have any problem with these cameras. What's the problem? I'm being a little hostile. He doesn't want I'm being hostile? Yeah. I think I'm asking something really simple. I just want you to come have a conversation with me. What seems hostile about that to you? Okay, well, why don't you go play basketball, whatever you go do, and we'll, we'll handle our business here. Steve, I'm going to ask you nicely a couple more times to come out here and be a man and speak with me. You hold that taser, you're going to do that. You're I'm sorry? You, I'm going to protect myself with that. There's three people here that are pretty hostile and aren't, aren't following my commands and aren't, and aren't doing what I asked them to do. Okay? But in particular, you. I'm not too worried about... I'm sorry, your name? Me? I'm not getting you my Okay, name. you don't have to. That's fine. Steve, before you put these people in, in, in additional harm's way, why don't you come out here... And talk to you about your bond. There's no reason to uh, to delay this. Okay, because I I'll, I'll call him down there. Okay, there's no reason to call. I have all the information you need right here, and I'd be happy to talk to you about it if you step out here for me. I okay. Well, I'm gonna step in here. Oh, well, you're gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna step in here. Get out of my way. And you're gonna put that. And you're gonna put that down. Yes. You're gonna put that down. Clear your hands. Clear your hands. I'm not going anywhere with you. I didn't. Did I ask you to come somewhere with me? You asked me to step outside. I'm not going outside. Right? I need. I, mean, I need to speak to with. To, officer tells me to step outside. I'm going to jail. Okay. I ain't going to jail. Okay. Well, let me talk to you about your bond, and we can discuss that. I didn't say you're going to jail. Did I tell you you're going to jail? Did I tell you you're under arrest? No. Or did I just ask you to simply step outside with me and have a conversation? Why, why? Well, what's the big deal? What's going on? What's the big deal? Because now you're making me nervous because you're holding that pipe like you want to hit me with it. Well, you're making me nervous holding that taser. Okay, well, I guess... You've got a lot more reach on that taser than I do on this pipe. Yeah, that's not true. You can throw that thing pretty far, I bet. Probably. Yeah, this thing on the reach is 15 feet. It's not here to use it on you. But understand, I'm in an environment. I've never been here before. I don't know you guys. But I do know one thing. You're not stepping outside. You're being resistive to me. And I just want to speak with you in regards to your bond. You know you're on bond with us. Yeah. You know you're obligated yeah. to comply with any of our commands. That's, a, that's yeah. an assault and you're going to end the unit here. Maybe you should talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a chance. I mean, I understand who was me. I told you at the same place. Yeah. It's kind of bullshit. Go step on out. I still don't. You know this truck property. You read the sign, right? Yeah, I read the sign. Cool. Stay back. Steve, I'm not going to play this game with you. Stop. I'm not going to play this game with you. I will tase you. Stop. 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 Go up against my truck. Walk to my truck right now. Walk to my truck. Lean up against my truck. Put your hands behind your back. You've been placed under arrest. You have a bond revocation. For bad behavior, picking up an additional charge while you're on bond. Control your dog, please. Yeah, go, Max. Hey, who can I call? Who are you? Well, it would have sucked a lot less. Yeah. It a little sucked a lot less had he not just tried to run from me.
because now you're going to get a resisting charge. Anything on you that's going to poke me, stick me, or stab me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. What do you got on you? Knives. Where you got knives? Tell me where your knives are at. Oh, left front pocket. Lean up against here. Spread your feet apart. Lean up. Spread your feet apart. Take a step back. Move your feet back. In apart. Thank you. Why'd you run? Probably because he knows he's going to jail. You understand why we're here? Why is that? Why don't you tell me why I'm here? Can you articulate to me why I'm here? Cuz? So you understand that if you came on and talked to me like a man and came down to the bail bonds office, we would have just given you a new bond? Instead, this is the way you want to act? You think we want to carry people like this on our bonds? No, probably not, right? They're taking dead. Come on. I understand you don't want to go back to jail, but you also know that we're the guys that get you out of jail. You're being a right? Yep. Yes, you are. Too bad he's not a bigger dog. <laughs> yeah, it would be too bad because I'd hate to shoot it. Oh, no, no, you can't do that. Just... Well, if he came at me, I absolutely would. I, can I have a right to protect myself. I didn't make a threat, I made a promise. If your dog attacks me, I'll shoot it. I love dogs, I don't want to hurt your dog. You just got chains left in here? Oh, he's not liking you guys. Maybe a bolt or two. He's not liking you. <laughs> you get bolts in your pockets. Match him up. He's got more bite than you. And you, by the way, just so you know, just so you're, we're crystal clear here, but you tell me that he's not here, knowing well and good that he's here, I can arrest you for interference and harboring a fugitive. I didn't know he was here. Okay. I think you do know he was here. I'm playing basketball. Okay, well, should I just let you figure that out with the judge? Should we handle it that way? Just put you in cuffs now, take you down with him for being a little dick? I get no problem doing that. Yeah, I'll just, I'll keep my That's probably a good idea. Yeah, I'd exercise yeah. that. I'll double lock these cuffs so they don't sip jump on you. Is there anything you want to take down to jail with you that's not on you right now? Nope. Is there anything on you that I haven't found? Nope. Keeping in mind that when we get down to the jail, if it's a misdemeanor out here, it may be a felony in jail. Nope. Do you understand that? Yep. Do you want to take all your belongings here with you? Do you like to leave any of these with your with your uh I'll leave everything in this pile with my wife, I'll take my wallet. Who's your wife? Is that your wife? My wife. Will you come here and take his belongings, please, ma'am? All of it? He could, he could have gotten right back out today. He could have got a new bond today. But because of this, we're not going to give him a new Why bond. He's going to have to contact a new company. So what you're going to do is what soon as... He'll get a new bail schedule when he gets down there. You can talk to the court, talk to the police department, they'll give you his new bail schedule. It's going to be an increase from whatever it was before. And you have to find a new company because we're not going to deal with him. I'm going to come back out here and deal with this crap. Good job, babe. Why'd you do that? It's half you. What? what? It's half you. Me showing up here. I had to talk to you for three or four minutes just to get no? you to tell me he was on the property. So? Maybe I can arrest you as well. well I Good thing I won't he because here, you told me he was here. Yeah, you decided to smarten up. But your inability to work with me and your non-compliance is the reason why I'm not going to be willing to put him on a new bond. Why should I put him on a new bond with you guys? Why am I going to let him back out just to go through this crap again? If he doesn't show up to court or doesn't make payment, anything goes wrong with the bond, I got to come back out here and deal with you guys? Why? What's the point? We should definitely choose a different company. Yeah, good luck. Because we all work together. We may choose to deny you bonds straight out. They can set your bail all you want. You can go to the court and do a cash bond. He had a $20,000 bond last time. Instead of going through us and getting the nice treatment that you get with a bail bonds company, put up that 10%. Go through the court. Cash bond. twenty grand. You got that to put up? Probably not on hand, right? No. No. Thanks, babe. So, thank him. Thank yourself. Again, it's half the, you're half the reason why I don't want to put him on a new bond. Because of the way y'all are acting. Well, we protect him because he's our provider. Okay. Well, you should also respect the person that comes here that works with you. 
that keeps him out of jail. Because the only reason he's out in the first place is because we're willing to work with you. I'm sorry. All right. You can contact the bail bonds and you guys can discuss it from there. My recommendation is going to be not to deal with you guys. Tip the back of my truck. Back up here. Left door. Just like that. Stand up against it. Just like that. Want a bottle of water? You good? You want a cigarette before you go down? I was supposed to smoke a cigarette with the hands behind my back. Well, I'd have to put it in your mouth, wouldn't I? Yeah, no thank you. All right, back up. Back up to here. Back up to here. I'm sorry? Sure. Love you, Love you too. Sorry. Turn around, put your butt right there. Scoot your back up against this wall. Put your feet on that side. It's pretty comfortable. No pillows? No pillows. No pillows for this one. Let me take your glasses off the top of your head here. Yeah. I'll let you keep those glasses. Why are you running from me? Why is the I don't want to go back. I do. It's going to happen. What do you think What do you think's going to happen if you run? It's going to get better? Honestly, you think it's going to get better? Does it ever get better when you run? No. No. But, yeah, maybe give me a couple more hours. Maybe a couple more seconds. <laughs> I'm running your heels. Maybe if you're in a car. Yeah. You know? You don't want to go back to jail. I understand. I understand you don't want to go back to jail, but you got to look at who you're running from, right? It's not like we're the police department and we'll just kind of go away if you right. if you make it away. We're gonna keep coming for you. We're gonna keep fine. You were on your property. You think we're gonna we leave? No. no we just sit here and harass your family until you came back out, right? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Why should we give you a new bond? Because I need to provide for this family. I need to be out and doing stuff, making money. What happened with this newest charge? You get suspected of DUI? Yep. What's going on with that? I just thought I was drinking. Did you blow? No. Did you do the test? Did the test. I, I, I thought I passed it. It took you in anyways? Yep. Did you have to give blood? No. Nope. What do you think is going to be the outcome of that? I think I'm going to be clearer because I haven't been drinking. Okay. It's not a big secondary charge, but you understand why we have to take you off of your existing bond. Okay, because it puts the bail bonds in at risk, so we need to reassess your bond, reassess the, the charges for you to be out, and then create the new paperwork that reflects those charges and those liabilities, right? Right. Okay. Any questions for me? Nope. Thank you. You got any questions? You all set? You understand what's going on? Can I get your card or something? You had the bail bonds in contract? You have the contract you got when you first got arrested? Yeah, Look the number up. Somewhere. Look the number up. You got any right. questions? No, if it, if it helps him at all, he'll go back to being so angry. It's just that. He makes more money than I do when it comes to working. Who does? He does? Yeah. He's a provider for the whole family? Yeah, I provide a little. I, I work too. Is that your dad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I understand you're not wanting to give him up and tell him he's not here, but at the same time, well, I'd expect we're not the police department. Unless, unless I was putting his house in jeopardy. Which... Right, but you understand that we're not the police department. So we're not, don't, we don't, we don't, we're not here to charge him with a crime. I don't know what you, what you say, you know what I mean, but it's around here, you just, they say whatever. Okay, I understand. And your shit says agent, so it's not like it's a comfortable word. You don't, you guys don't like the police around here? You don't have a good relationship with the police? Care for him, just we don't, don't care for him. Okay, that's fair enough. Again, I'm not the police. We're here to get you guys back out of jail. Please put you in, our company gets you out. If if any if you're if you want to give leniency to anybody in law enforcement, give it to us. You guys do get them out, but you know, it just takes a minute when people pull up with lights on and then hop out the car with vests and tasers and they're. I didn't point it at you. I didn't point it all crazy. I didn't pull my taser out till we were going it's, into that building it's over there. I get it. It's fun. I'm not. We have a job to do. I don't know what you got on. What if you had a knife or a gun in your back pocket, right? Yeah. That's why we dress like this. We got to protect ourselves, yeah. right? Makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Next time I come back here, if I decide to give him a new bond, I decide to put it back on the line again. And I come back out here, I expect this, this behavior and this treatment, gone. If we do put him on a new bond, I'm telling you right now I'm going to do bail checks. I'll come back out here and I will check on him just to see how y'all are acting. Yeah, you give me that same treatment, we'll just yank him. Fine. As long as it's me, it's be fine. Yeah. Anybody that says bail enforcement agent or police, but we don't know them. you need to be nice with. All right. Don't, can't promise that. Don't know him. I can't promise that I'll get him back out then, can I? I know. All right. It's an in the moment thing, you know? You guys have a good day.
Oh, I got a stuff on the hood still? Whoops. What stuff are we taking with us? Here, why don't you grab this stuff? I'll... What's that? Why don't you take the rest of this? <coughs> does he want you to have the water? Or does he want the wallet? He'll probably leave it with me. I'll okay. have it when, he gets, when I pick him up. Okay. Call in about two and a half, three hours. He'll All have right. a new bail schedule set. Yeah, he's on a payment plan with us now. What's the, what is it I have no idea. Look at the bail contract. They'll tell you everything you need to know. It has nothing to do with the payments because he got a DUI charge last week. So when you pick up a new charge and you're on bond, it's a violation for bad behavior, so you got to revoke based on that. <laughs> no, the DUI is still pending. It's pending, yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to us. We're just going to put him on a new bond. The bail bond is going to take all this, look at this footage, and decide if we're going to bond him back out. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so we pulled up to the house here. Obviously, he had some resistance from the family. Not too bad. Came over to the garage, saw Steve, and uh, made contact with him. He initially, was pretty resistive. Had a pipe in his hand, looked like he wanted to hit me with it. Thankfully, he decided to, uh, to walk out and uh, speak with me. Unfortunately, decided to give me a little foot bail, a little foot patrol there. So he's an older guy, doesn't move, doesn't move around too well. So I just grabbed him. He knew the gig's up, and um, decided to take him back down to jail. So he's got a revocation for that DUI case. We'll bring him back down, and we'll talk to the bail bondsman, and uh, he'll decide whether or not he's going to get a rebail or not. If he does, he'll be back out probably tonight or tomorrow morning. And if he doesn't, then I'll have to look for a new company. And uh, if he can't find a new company, he'll sit down until his court date. That's pretty much it. He goes to jail. We go home. It's a good day for us, bad day for him. Remember, we get you a new fugitive. Like him almost every single day. I'm Patty Mayo. We'll see you on the next one.